was that, T? I told you! That was Merriweather! Those choppers? And that ain't normal private security guards! Yeah, you're right! I have it on good authority that they're actually a lizard army who've taken human form to do the bidding of the New World Order. I hope you can flip this thing fast, because I don't want to see those reptile buddies of yours ever again. What's it been? Not ten years? After this, the government won't care how long it's been. They're gonna put you and everyone you ever knew on their kill list. And you! I thought you would be smarter than this. What'd I do? Stealing a super weapon to sell to the Chinese! Damn, T. This some nuke or some shit? I thought you said you spoke to him. Yeah, I did! Okay? Kind of. I mean, he was all woozy and shit. It doesn't matter, all right? It's done. We've got it. But we could put it back. You drop it in the sea by the time they get a salvage operation together. No! Oh, so you want a drone circling your trailer? We'll get you another score, Trevor. You owe me! Wait, get in that chopper! Listen to whatever this fucking moron has to say. Okay! All right, and on that note, I'm out of here. You won't be seeing me back here in a long time. Hey! We need a score! Remember! Man, I thought I was done not getting paid for these licks. Hello? Me too! I bet I could hit your G-shot every time. You guys were amazing tonight. Ah, you know. Chin Stainer is like my ultimate breakup song. That track is so fucking layered, man. It's like a renaissance painting. Hey, man, no more autographs. Hey, that's OK. I want something more personal. Piss off, you twat, before I kick your ass. You want to go, do you? <laughs> He's trying to kill me, I'm a musical icon! I'd say my work is done here. What the hell is wrong with you?
Guess what, you crazy English brute cake? Oh, I'm dreadful at guessing, aren't I, Mrs. Thornhill? No, she can't hear me. She's washing out a nappy from Samantha Muldoon's dustbin. Yeah, uh, one gold tooth, courtesy of Love Fist, complete with complimentary DNA. Marvelous, marvelous. Oh, Jock, I knew you wouldn't let us down. Toodaloo! problem whatever the fuck it was we're straight oh absolutely yeah yeah you here's trevor get your right looky looky huh a bunch of government shit bags and their favorite stoolie what's he been telling you oh he just said how you guys were happy to help the government in any way you can oh really huh because i was told that if we helped out with that thing which we did then our past indiscretions would be forgotten in a haze of patriotic fervor. Who told you that? Did I tell you that? I'm in charge here, Fruity. Me! You understand? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? What I was saying! <laughs> oh, you're good. The three cunts. Listen, we need help with something else. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. Not, uh, not your bit, right? Yes, but we're corrupt in a good way. But the agency, they want to encourage panic so they can guarantee their budgets. That's how they get paid. It's a major problem. And now they've secured some funds that we need to use in our fight against crime as a way of bribing corrupt officials. Really? And where are they getting that from? Drugs. Those bastards love to sell drugs. Who doesn't? Right. We think they're gonna use this money to finance a war on our streets, and we need you boys to requisition that money for us. The Bonds are leaving the terminal in an armored car. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. We don't have time to prepare the right way. <laughs> it's not my concern. I cannot allocate any more resources to this. You'll be fine. Fuck you, Dave. Nice work, Slick. We're gonna be doing pat-downs at the airport before those fucking clowns are done with us. You know, fuck you. Hey, hey, look, man. It is what it is. Now, how the fuck we gonna get this done? I don't know. <sighs> I got it. Classic blitz play. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block, tow truck to sack them. We get some disguises, and we're golden. We just gotta hope like hell these are the kind of agency men that don't carry a panic button with them. If they are, we deal with it. If and when. If and motherfucking when. I will keep my eyes peeled, General! Thank you, Michael. Hey, no problem. No, really. Guys, a few more details. We'll need boiler suits and masks for this job. The garbage truck. Let's get one from your park. Bring it back to the lot. And there's an auto repair place by the airport where we can get a tow truck. What else? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get away. That would be nice. Get something fast and discreet. We park it off the road a good distance from the lot. And make sure it ain't near something we'll crash into driving off. That's it. All right, man, I got you, dawg. What? Huh? I missed that. Maybe shout a little louder? Bite me! That's right, Bob. One more day and I'm a retired man. Corn and potato chips. What a good night. Get me out of here! Move the pipe! Hurry, please! Switch the gas! 
I made a wrong yeah, turn. Never call me back the next day. Hello there. Gas money is crap. Just to say, I got us some headgear for this masquerade balls up.
tow truck is at the lot. A getaway vehicle ready and waiting. Good work, T. Where'd you put it? Cypress Flats. Sanitation truck's there now, so don't you bother. All right, that's everything. I'll call Steve, tell him we're ready to move on this. your pooch I'm a big fan Dexy Dexy that's your fault you stupid bald prick quick go on go after him Someone call the oh, you get an ambulance. if anything happens to Dexy I swear I'll Be good to daddy. <clears throat> gotcha, you little bastard. There, there. I know, this is weird for all of us. You're gonna make a batshit crazy lady very happy. <sighs> okay, uh, 
Now get back to Carrie before she uses this as an excuse to go back to rehab. Yeah, we should be doing period dramas, not this reality show shit. Chalk! Celebrity newsflash! Maniac steals collar from Carrie McIntosh's dog in Rockford Hills! Oh, how delightful! Mrs. Thornhill will have me sporting that in the bedroom before the week is out. <laughs> oh, I, I, I joke, of course. We really can't thank you enough for all the effort you're going to to make our holiday so special. Ah, don't mention it. I always enjoy meeting people more chemically unbalanced than myself. I said it, Mrs. Thornhill. I, uh, persuaded Mark Faustenberg to donate one of his golf clubs to your Museum of Dysfunction. Oh, bravo! It will take pride of place on the wall above Jill von Krastenberg's pregnancy test. <laughs> Speak to you soon. I love Americans. You're all so brash and uncomplicated. It's none of your business, huh? okay? Hey, huh? it's a slight accent. Huh? Fuck you. Hey, so huh? I grew up in Canada, huh? huh? What's the big fucking deal, huh? you fucking whoa, whoa, racist? Whoa, whoa, whoa. And before hey. you fucking ask, chill, home, chill. no, I'm not a motherfucker. You 
make fun of my accent! Cabrons! Nice piece, dawg. Hey, hey, yo, yo, who the fuck is this motherfucker? Hey, what's cracking on me? What you doing around here, man? Me? Yeah, you, motherfucker. You. What? I'm talking to you, motherfucker. Who else you think I'm talking to, homeboy? Mm, I'm getting bored of this. <laughs> what? It's what not legally fucking if you do not penetrate. Oh, ah, shit, man. Oh, this motherfucker fucker. Hit me in fuck. the nose, nigga. Die, motherfucker, die! Gonna strip the screw there. I can't put the cap on. No, it's a nut, man. You just screw it back on. Hey, what are you doing here, citizen? I said, what are you doing here, citizen? Nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. You're clearly a tourist. For our friends from up north, eh? A boot? Don't even say it like that. There's a moose loose a boot to hoose. <laughs> Fuck off, you hoosier. Hey, hey what's hey, happening? Fuck hey, hey, oh, Jesus. It's a faint hey. fucking accent. Get out of here. You can hardly Come tell. Come on. Hey. Insert.
this military has to offer? Attack! Oh! Really? For one Canadian? Be a dick, bro. I'm trying to look out for you. Just give me the keys. Whatever, Dad. I'm totally fine. Just had a couple of beers. Will you two just make out already? Hey, can you give me a ride just so Boy Scout there can get his buzzkill badge? There's my car. I'm not your personal chauffeur, Cupcake. It's my way or the highway. So, where are we go? I'm on Alta Place. Off, uh, Howick Ave. It's not that far. Oh, I don't feel so good. I just got a mouthful of, of something. You better take it slow. Hey, thanks for this, man. As you can see, I could have driven. No problem, but Joy Killer back there had to lay a guilt trip on me. Can you believe they wanted me to walk? Walk? What do you think this is? Europe? Just because I sound drunk doesn't mean my brain's drunk. You know? It's offensive. You don't call a deaf kid stupid for talking funny. I can't believe he just walked out without me. Why do guys turn into such assholes when they get? You don't see this car here. You make me hurl. Assholes when they get married. Well, he can go back to his boring family, to jacking off in the garage after everyone's gone to bed. I'll stick with my Whoa. awesome life. Thank you. Now try that again without slurring. This is nothing. You should have seen me on Thanksgiving. Pumping the turkey sound. Yo! You like my wishbone, don't you? Wow! You like my wishbone, don't you? Look at Classic me. The ladies in Are you fucking wasted or something? The ladies in that place, dude! All over me like a rash. I'd have cleaned up if I didn't have the worst fucking wingman ever. Oh, take it easy! Oh, shit. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna barf. Thanks for the ride, man. I gotta get inside. I'm about to spill my guts. 
Take this to the gas. I'll see you around. Try not to pass out. Hey, no mouse having a party later. I'd make a movie about his ass and call it friend. Cunts in America. Just... But that would be the post-ironic use of the word cunt, both offensive and at the same time curiously anodyne. <clears throat> hey, what the fuck? I find your t-shirt more than a little offensive. If there's one thing I cannot stand, it's post-ironic hipsters. If you don't like it, you can go back to Canada, dude! Come on, you want a piece of me, huh? Oh, wait, oh, fuck! Oh, Run, fuck! you little fuck! Get 
out the trash, Sandy Shores!
said you was gonna get us some food. No, you said that. I said I wasn't. I'm the one trapped hiding up here day and night. I ain't had nothing but potato chips in over a week. It ain't my fault you blew up the lab again. And anyway, I put a bullet in them, boys. You're dead. <laughs> Cover yourself, dumbass. <laughs> you piece of shit. Cletus is here. Uh, uh. Screw you. I'll kill you. ain't worth it. Just take me in. Aw, oh, that's better. Now let's go before I change my mind on the whole dead or alive. Thing. Wasn't very nice, Larry. Whoa! Hang on. Surely it ain't. Trevor Phillips? Am I that forgettable? Well, I was pretty messed up back then. And you, well... Years ain't been kind to none of us, have they? How you been? Oh, oh, I can't complain. Yourself? You know, up and down. Look, sorry for that back there. Didn't know it was you. Hey, no harm done. Glad to hear it. Ha, well, isn't this pleasant? So, seeing as we're old acquaintances, what do you think about giving me a pass this time? All I did was cook up a batch, not even a real crime. You know how it is. Well, let's look at this objectively, shall we? You've shot at me, insulted my rugged good looks, and shamelessly gone after my market share. I'd just consider yourself extremely lucky your heart is still beating, and not being stomped under my foot right now. Oh yeah, right. I heard about Johnny. Yes. If it wasn't for the fact I'd made a commitment to Maud and have a soft spot for the mature woman. Maud? Oh hell, she smells like spoiled chicken feed. Maybe you can work your charms on her, see if she'll let you off. She's certainly hankering for some male <laughs> company, huh? What'd you think, uh-huh, uh-huh? No way. I'll take the jail time. Second bail jumper, and I already know the feller. Maybe I need to take audit of my social circle. Well, if I got to go in, who better to go in with than my old pal Trevor? We had some good times, didn't we? No, we really didn't, Larry. I sold you drugs. Then I can only assume you started buying drugs off someone else, then started selling your own drugs. These, on their own, do not constitute good times. We had a real nice cook site this time, too. Next thing you know, whole trailer goes up like a rocket. Must have gotten lazy again with the measurements and the shake and bake. As a wise man once said, rarely does a tweaker a good baker make. Huh? Right? I still can't rightly believe you're a bounty hunter. If what I heard about them bikers and Ortega's crew was true, I wouldn't have figured you have much time for a sideline. Hello, stranger. Who's this? Hello, Maud. I found this man wandering the streets, and I thought that maybe you uh, might be able to find him a home. I think I can do that. Anyway, let's not waste all day with the inconsequential chit-chat. You'll be receiving a file from me shortly. as 
He's making such a fuss, these celebs. Oh, they're not like you or me. Ah! Ah, apart from you, Jock. <laughs> Would you go and get him one of his favorite pizzas? No. Well, then I don't know what to do with him. I mean, he hasn't eaten for a few days. You've kidnapped a major movie star, okay? Now, you can either leave him somewhere and hope he's been sufficiently scared shitless to stay quiet, or you can send him on the kind of trip he won't come back from. Oh, a trip! Such fun! Oh dear, oh dear, what a palaver this is! Decisions, decisions! If you could just handle this, Jock. Mm. Al is in the boot of the car. You'd be doing us such a favor! I'm really not one for goodbye. He's doing. But it, it's a very big decision. Hello? Hey! Hello? What's happening? Who are you? I'm the man getting you from A to B. Uh, A being the trunk of this car, and B being a horrific scenario of my choosing. Oh God, please, no! I, I, I have money on me! Lots of money! Good to know, Al! Good to know! I'll be sure to grab that after we're done. Oh, shit! Shit! Please, let me go! I thought you were a big, tough action movie guy! See, you can act! Don't listen to all those movie critics! What are those crazy old bricks with you? Just me and you, honey bun! Did you have fun with those two? They're harmless, aren't they? They are not harmless! Those fucked up power games! The things that woman may be due to her feet! Ah, you lucky boy! Older women are to be cherished! But <clears throat> I've decided to accept your kind offer on the understanding that you keep your mouth shut. Unless, of course, you want to be returned to uh, Sir Fruit Cake and Lady Screwloose back there. No, 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 I, I promise to uh, take it all. Just, just let me go. Hey, keep making terrible movies, Al. <laughs> 